charges get filed. It's, you don't expect the officers to be judge and uh, juror out in the scene. I expect them to, sure I do, uh, when it comes to whether to make an arrest or not. And I expect the county attorney to make a judgment as to whether she wants to dump this garbage onto the system. And then I expect the judge to be a judge and the jury to be a jury. I have nothing further. I have no further questions. Go ahead and tase me. Put your, your hands behind your back. I'm going to sue you. Put your hands behind your back. Shut up. You're going to get tased, Tim. Put your hands behind Put your back. Put your hands behind your back. This is amazing. Tim, you're under like arrest. That. Put your hands behind your back. Behind her car. Put so your hands behind your back. Me. You know, I changed my insurance. You're so... Down. 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 Why are you doing that to me? Put your hands behind your back. Do it. Oh, I hope that. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I hope you're happy. Put your hands behind your back. Kill me. Put your hands behind your back. 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 You're Put your hands behind your back. You fucking bitch. Hey, Donna. Put your hands behind your back. You fucking bitch. Fuck that cock. Shut your ass. Put your hands behind your back. 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 Am. Behind your back. Well, get it away from me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Your hand behind your back. Your... Like the... I didn't do anything. Get in. What are you? Get in the car! I did not do anything. Get in the car! In the car, then. Oh, oh, the maximum effectiveness, uh, so that would be true whether it's chemical spray or tasers, uh, even batons uh, require a fair amount of training, strangely enough, uh, in terms of the techniques and how to employ them most effectively. Uh, and there are, and there, there are other kinds of uh, esoteric approaches, chokeholds that render someone unconscious, uh, uh, all, all kinds of grips and holds and, and uh, thrusts. So, and, and there are many different kinds of batons. There are kind of telescopic batons that on the flick of a wrist stretch out. Oh, so there are, and there are various uses for them. So it's a hugely complicated matter that, that first and foremost requires a good deal of training. And why is, why is the training important? You want the police to enforce the law and not break it. Uh, it's very, very important to hold the police accountable. They're out there, they're enforcing the law, they have a tough job to do, uh, but the temptation when you have that much power sometimes is to abuse it and you want to be sure that they one, understand the difference between right and wrong and do the right thing, and two, that they will be held to account. Well, the only way you can legitimately hold them to account is if you've given them a, a, a useful weapon, uh, trained them in its use, and then described the, the, the circumstances under which they might legally employ it. Put your hands on your back! He was more or less uncooperative and incompliant. I prefer these, the deputies' words. They said he was incompliant. Uh, I think that that's what uh, characterizes his behavior more than resisting. He was charged with obstructing legal process and it was dismissed. Move to strike as non-responsive. You're aware that it was dismissed as part of a plea bargain. 
I'm aware that the three charges for which they responded and which they charged them, in my opinion maliciously, all dismissed and that he ultimately agreed to plea to calling his wife by phone. Not unusual when you were police chief either, was it? Well, except that the, the, the uh, plea took, uh, relates to an event that took place after this event. Uh, not unlike Denny Hecker, who's agreeing to uh, a plea bargain. This is not a plea bargain, Mr. Iverson. Where they throw the three charges out, absolute garbage charges, and then they, they get him, uh, they finally convince him to do, say, yes, I called her by phone. Uh, yeah, why not? You're, in the materials that uh, you reviewed, uh, you saw Judge Maduri's uh, uh, finding of, of uh, probable cause to allow this matter to proceed, didn't who, you? By who? Uh, Judge Maduri. Uh, Maturi. Yeah, uh, that was submitted to the judge by a county attorney. Which is how charges get filed. It's, you don't expect the officers to be judge and uh, juror out in the scene. I expect them to, sure I do, uh, when it comes to whether to make an arrest or not, and I expect the county attorney to make a judgment as to whether she wants to dump this garbage onto the system, and then I expect the judge to be a judge and the jury to be a jury. I have nothing further. I have no further questions. Put your hands behind your back.